If you're like me, you have already read all of the basic product management books and are looking for recommendations that would help you upskill while also being enjoyable reads. In this video, I will share five books that I have found extremely valuable in my role as a product manager. So hang around and let's get into it. My first recommendation is The Rational Optimist by Matt Ridley. Not gonna lie, the last few years have been in so many ways that I've had a hard time staying optimistic. The Rational Optimist presents a solid counter-argument to the prevailing pessimism surrounding the future of humanity and planet Earth. Ridley does a great job of painting a big picture narrative that forces one to snap out of their doom and gloom and to feel pretty bullish on humanity themselves. His biggest argument is that technology and innovation are a solve for all of the problems ailing society today. This is the reason behind my recommendation. As members of the tech community, we ought to feel a sense of responsibility and pride in our work. My next recommendation is Hackers, Heroes of the Computer Revolution by Stephen Levy. If you are a history buff like me, you will love this book. It recounts the early days of the computer era and traces back the culture in Silicon Valley today to the first generation of hackers at MIT in Cambridge, Massachusetts. I am recommending this book especially for PMs working at tech startups or on products that haven't achieved product market fit yet. Reading this book would not only be hugely entertaining but also inspirational. My next recommendation is Walter Isaacson's biography of Ben Franklin. Walter Isaacson has written some memorable biographies of iconic figures in history like Steve Jobs, Leonardo da Vinci, Einstein, and others. He was recently doing the podcast rounds promoting his latest biography of Elon Musk. My reason for recommending this book is that Ben Franklin's character represents everything that product managers, and especially managers of product managers, should aspire to emulate. He was incredibly skilled at the art of diplomacy and leading with humor and charm. I mean, let's be honest, being a PM for a team of engineers with overdeveloped aids does require a great deal of flexibility and pragmatism. A word of warning though, this book can feel a bit dense, so try an audiobook version instead of the book version. My next recommendation is Surely You're Joking, Mr. Feynman by Richard Feynman. It is an unconventional autobiography, not surprising for a man who lived to defy convention. The reason I am recommending this book is that Feynman's ability to problem solve in creative and out of the box ways was very inspiring to me. He was uniquely gifted, but his approach doesn't have to be unique and can be adopted by everyone, especially PMs who encounter a wide range of problems on the daily. Reading this book made me feel like I have the permission to bend the rules and be creative. Not something one needs permission for, but I hope you get my meaning. My final recommendation is Mastery by Robert Greene. I recently picked this up after listening to a podcast episode where Greene was interviewed. You may have heard of his other works such as 48 Laws of Power, The Art of Seduction, The Laws of Human Nature, and more. Greene's literary reputation is what one would call polarized in a PC way. But we're not PC here. He is one spicy dude. Greene is often criticized for his cynicism, but I find his takes to be based in realism. In the book, True mastery is defined as the blend of intuition and rational conscious thought. It represents a deep internalization of one's craft where decisions and actions often feel instinctive and are executed with a high level of confidence and fluidity. The book offers interesting psychological and sociological frameworks for first identifying one's true calling and then developing a roadmap to gain mastery. That brings me to the end of this list. What are your non-basic book recommendations for product managers? Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and see you again in the next one.